Metallic Maria. Yes. <laughs> you danced with a girl named oh, Maria? I freaking love that girl named Maria. Maria. It's not just a casual thing either, let me tell you. I've known her for a couple hours at this point. Yeah, I know. It's true love. At that point, it's true love, yeah, right? whole conversation. Yeah. Thinking um, I'm going to spend the rest, um, of the, the rest of my life with her. Siempre. Para siempre. Mm. You might say. Yes. Uh, West Side Story, which yes, was the... a remake of a movie adaptation of a Broadway production. That was uh, music written by uh, Leonard Bernstein and lyrics by Stephen Sondheim, uh, who passed away recently. May rest in peace. Mm. Um, and he, he absolutely uh, foundational musical. Um, I I know very few people. I, have you ever had you seen the 1961 film? Yes, I before I seeing did, this. I did. I did. It's been years yeah. though, so I it's the same. Same for me. Um, I actually watched it in school. I, I I've saw I've seen it a, a couple of times, <clears throat> but I actually remember watching it in like a in choir. Just I, I don't remember why. I think it was like after. Like we didn't have anything to like practice for anymore. It was like after that semester was over, so we're just like, ah, it was just a movie day. So we watched one of the one of the times we watched Best Side Story. So and my brother used to be like really into. He would listen to the music all the time, so I knew some of the songs just from that. Like I could remember them. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I yeah. know it's like the iconic stuff, the snaps, <clears throat> and the and the jets. Yeah. The jets and the sharks, and the. Officer Krupke, I remember that song because he, my brother, loved that song. He would play that a lot. Yeah, I like I like that song a lot. Um, yeah, I mean it's it's amazing how many how many like because it, it had been a while since I seen it. Like probably it had probably been since high school. I want to say since I'd seen it. I mean I I've heard you know Maria is obviously very well known. America, uh, but also like tonight um, somewhere I feel pretty. It's like all these songs are like I feel pretty. They're, they're all very like they almost transcend like i i almost yeah. forget the fact that they belong to this musical yeah. originally yeah um right. which is kind of is kind of wild um when you if you really step back and think about it so um so going in this is a classic film like it, it was it won tons of awards when it came out in 61 uh the, the musical won a bunch of awards too, but the the, the film version lauded, critically lauded, um, it's pretty beloved. Uh, <clears throat> so, would you think a man like Spielberg had the has the chops to uh, to remake, to update? I guess uh, maybe wrinkle out some of the issues uh, that you could maybe say exist maybe the fact that Natalie Wood is playing a Puerto Rican <laughs> in the original version. <clears throat> mm-hmm. um, something that was kind of, you know, it was seen as fine at the time. Obviously these days people frown upon that, which, you know, for a re- I would say for a good reason. Um, mm-hmm. So we have like a, 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 uh, a diverse cast that's actually like casted appropriately for the, for the ethnicities that are on display mm-hmm. um we have the tech technological cinema cinematographic cinematography that word so we have the advances in cinematography <clears throat> in uh, digital editing digital mm-hmm. filmmaking um to remake a film uh actually more more than just like making the same film again using a more Broadway, like uh, the orchestration was very similar to the original Broadway production. The song order, I think was still a little different, but it was more similar to the Broadway version, um, which was, uh, I found was a, was a welcome change. But before we delve too deep into, into the weeds here, Zach, what did you think Mm. about Steven Spielberg's 2021 remake of West Side Story? I liked it. I liked it. it uh, I, I, I loved it. Huh. Uh, I, I, it's basically everything, pretty much everything in it. I won't say like maybe everything, but 
pretty much everything about it that they changed i felt was a was a change for the better um yeah i don't know like the i wish i watched the original <clears throat> before this yeah I, I kind of feel like i should i need to go back and watch the original again like more more freshly more recently but i thought a lot of the the additional so for example um tony as a character is very i say he's fleshed out more he's not just ah he's not hanging with the jets anymore because he just he doesn't feel like it it's like he has like a whole sort of character depth backstory to him now where it's like he was in prison for a year and he's back he's on parole but he's trying to he feels like he only has like one you know he, he he's doing what he feels like is his like last chance trying to pay off debts trying to work for valentina who is a new character mm -hmm. uh not in either the broadway version or, or maybe she is i don't think so i don't know i don't remember i don't think she is i think she's a new to entirely to this because she's played by uh rita moreno who played anita in the 1961 film which was kind of a delight to have some continuation from that in oh. a way um and she's also a producer on the film, I think, as well. So he's working for her at like a at like the uh, at Doc's, the drugstore, um, because she's like Doc's uh, wife, uh, the widower. Um, yeah, um, I, I liked a lot of the changes with with his character because it felt like. Just having him fleshed out a little more was was more interesting because he is a pretty much a, a, him and Maria's relationship is like the crux of the entire film. Mm -hmm. Having her sort of place, uh, her sort of placement as well, feel like it's maybe a little bit more developed rather than just she's just the girl. She's a love interest. Um, I mean, may, there might be more nuance to it that I'm not, just not remembering from the other version, but I felt like. I felt like there was just a lot more, a lot more complexity to to our at least our principal characters, which I really appreciated. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, I know I'm much in terms of complaints. Um, <clears throat> really did I really did appreciate uh, Tony's character? I mean, he's the he's the most interesting part of the movie to me yeah but um so what so i, I so what do you think about ansel elgort because everyone's been pretty hard on him and I, I and i think the reason everyone's been hard on him is actually because of the the assault allegations that have been kind of hmm. ramping up against him which is like you know reasonably so yeah, i didn't know any i thought he that. was i i didn't think he was i didn't think he was bad Everyone was saying like, "Oh, he's horrible." He's like, he sucks all the life out of the movie every time he's on screen. I was like, I did not get that at all. I thought he was, I maybe maybe not great, but I thought he was he was good. I thought he was, he was fine. Uh, I, yeah, I liked him a lot. I thought he did a good job. I again, I think that there was, he offered some more complexity to Tony as a character. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think I think that I think that Spielberg made the right choice. Uh, I, I know probably there aren't like a lot of like A-listers here in terms of like right. your Hollywood A-lister. And Ansel Elgort's not really an A-lister, but I guess he's probably the most well-known name, I would guess. Um, and I thought he did. I thought he was really good. I really liked him. I thought, yeah, he was, you know, maybe not maybe not like a perfect singer, but I thought all the, all the singing that he did was great. Um but that being said, I think everyone else in the cast is just that much better. Like, I think I think the vocals in this movie were awesome. Um, mm -hmm. The film debut of Rachel Zegler, that's her name. Mm -hmm. um, she was amazing. She was absolutely amazing. Yeah. Um, I can't wait to see where her career ends up being, because I thought she was just a delight in this movie. I thought she was like I thought she was like I thought that was the breakout role of the film. I, I really thought she was wonderful. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> well, it's interesting. West Side Story 
at its core is very much Romeo and Juliet, right? Definitely. And, yeah. I mean, Romeo and Juliet for I know for a lot of people it's not even like their favorite Shakespeare thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and it is like <clears throat> just love at first sight is what it comes down to. Mm-hmm. It is funny to like to see when he's like talking about how uh, it's not just a casual thing. I thought it was funny when Maria was like offended because <clears throat> what's the name her her brother was like you don't oh um. Uh, Bernard. Bernard. Bernardo. 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 Yeah, yeah, Bernardo. He was like, D- "Don't marry him." He said something about "Don't yeah. marry him." And she's like, "Marry him." It was just, it was just a dance. And then meanwhile, he's over there talking and about sa- like, <laughs> and saying like, it's "Not a casual thing. We're gonna, <clears throat> we're gonna be, we gonna be together forever." And, well, she's 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 in denial because she doesn't want to worry, make her brother, who's very overly protective, worry. Mm-hmm. So when I, mean, I think that. Obviously, what she is thinking also. The powerful, yeah. powerful love at first sight there. Powerful. It was a very powerful reaction. I mean, I think I think you can chalk it up to a little bit to yeah. It's it's definitely uh, very because it's it's purely intense intense emotions. It's um, purely physical, right? It's y- like you can you can you could you could chalk it up to the idea that I've heard some people say that like you should think of Shakespeare's days as months. Because Romeo and Juliet also, I think, takes place over the course of like a day, mm-hmm. so uh, or like a like two days, which this also takes place during. <clears throat> I think I think to that degree, if you if you maybe can think about it like that, maybe that can help you digest it a little bit better. Um, but I mean, the stuff does happen really fast in this. Yeah. In this, like not even just about the relationship, but like the escalation of the jet, the jets, the jets and the sharks. Um, you know the rumble the escalation yeah. of like the rumble is going to happen now and it's like oh we're going to get knives and you get it. <laughs> this is like whoa oh, oh, oh. This, is, this is getting serious guys <laughs> it's like okay i guess um, that's what we're doing beat for beat is, but beat for beat is very much romeo and juliet <coughs> even down to the final oh, yeah. the way the movie ends is oh, for straight sure. out of romeo and juliet where i mean well they don't he, both die like, in he this. doesn't he doesn't kill himself but he basically does because yeah. and he basically it's because he thinks that she's dead that he kind of yeah. just like gives up on life. Right. Right. And but it's just like <laughs> it is sort of the <laughs> the horrible thing where he he then discovers she's not dead but Chino kills I thought it was so him anyway. Funny. It was so funny. He it's was so... yelling he was yelling and Chino was like, "Huh?" He was, he was like he was looking like, right around the cool. corner. He was like, "Oh." Like, "Oh, there he is. You. Cool. I'll shoot and him now." He goes out in dramatic fashion. She starts running out with her with her, <laughs> her overnight bag already. And he's like he just has a moment of confusion where he's like, "Oh, you're not dead?" Oh, "Okay." No, I'm dead. That's, okay. That's very irresponsible of Chino. You're not supposed to fire at a target when there's another target like right there. <laughs> he could have accidentally hit her like well, very easily. You're not but supposed to fire at a target. You just. He's <laughs> <laughs> not, not supposed to fire. You're just not supposed to fire. Yeah. Well, at that context, no, you were He wasn't supposed to. But uh, Chino was pissed. He was pissed. That's so. Gino, well, Chino's character was so funny. He's where he transformed into a different character when he re- took off his glasses. Right. Well, that's, I mean, that's kind of the, that's sort of the, the thing that I, I liked a lot about this film uh, was giving these like characters that w- didn't have much to say other than that they're the character that does this. It's like, Chino is like this bookish character where he's, he's kind of like, he, he's being set up to marry Maria. They're, they're sort of like an, an arranged kind of thing where they're going to, they're going to be getting married at mm-hmm. some point anyway. Um, <clears throat> but Chino is is being held at arm's length by Bernardo. Bernardo is like, no, you're way too you're way too smart to get involved in the sharks. Like, don't don't worry about this. You've got a bright future ahead of you with my sister. Um, but in the rumble when Bernardo gets killed, uh, when Tony kills Bernardo, it like Chino just like snaps because he's it, it's it's like a the the violence the the conflict. It becomes too big for him to to even he wants to be part of this and now at this point he has to join he feels like he has to join he has to take up uh take up the mantle of bernardo who he basically idolized as he's the the macho you know yeah the ideal for him he's the head of the sharks mm-hmm. um 
and yeah, I mean, it, it's just, it, that's kind of the, the tragedy of his character is, is the, the violence consumes his, all of his potential. Um, and that's, and that's sort of like, to me, that's, that's just the interesting thing about the whole thing, right? Is because we see all these characters, the, the, you know, it's a, it's a tragedy. It's a classic a tragedy. Mess. I mean, yeah, that's, that's what it is. It's, it's a big mess. It's a big mess. Big mess. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's heart wrenching to see at the very end where, cause Maria doesn't die like Juliet does, but it's almost mm. her, her fate's almost worse because she, she talks instead about like, well, now I've, now I learned to hate. Now I know how to hate. That's what you've, that's what this has shown me. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's beautiful. It was, yeah. And it's like, it's so, it's so heart wrenching at the end. Just, and then and she's just, like, yeah. And you just basically go right to Greta's. It's like yeah. Well, well, that last shot. I love how the the first shot of the film. I don't. I don't remember if it's the first shot of the film, but there's a shot in the film that sort of. It's the opposite view of the street, of where it sort of it, it's like it, it cranes. It I think it cranes down, and it shows like all the the rubble from where they're eventually going to be putting. Um, uh, what's the 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 some the whatever center? There's a. There's a, the famous building in New York that's that's on the west side there. Mm-hmm. Um, that's that's what they're demolishing. That their street in order to to build. Oh, the Lincoln Center. That's where the Lincoln Center is going. Um, which I think is where the. I don't think the premiere of the movie was there, but I think I, I was reading some people were like uh, had seen it there, which is you know kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. But yeah. So, but, the Hold on. Hold on last sec. shot of the film is like is like the the that shot in reverse. It's the opposite. <clears throat> Hold on, you you were breaking up for a bit. Hold on. It just said your internet. Your internet connection oh, is unstable. Your connection is unstable. Oh, God. <laughs> no, no, we're not back. Robot. Are we good? No, no, we're not. Good. Can we go? No. Oh no! What's happening? Oh, apart. am I like a more? Okay. <laughs> we're falling apart. Oh, what the hell is this? You're fine now, but I don't know if you'll go okay. back as soon as you start talking. And that's what usually what happens. That is like that is a lot of time. That, that is a lot of time. How it happens, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, well, we're gonna we're gonna yeah. go for it anyway. Go we're gonna try. It. Um, but the whole... as soon as you start oh, the talking is like this is like uh is like a crane shot oh my god what is that what is it what is that the absolute state of this podcast I... oh god <laughs> kill me <laughs> <laughs> he was like i'm gonna i'm gonna go for it <laughs> It's like comedic timing. <laughs> it's amazing. All right. Oh, we've been good for five minutes. Okay, let me get started. All right. <laughs> Without fail. Without fail. Hey, when that happens sometimes when I was having like an important phone call with like having a heart to heart moment. I was like, all right, I've been working up the courage to say this all my life. <laughs> What? Can you say that again? And then it cuts back and they're crying. <laughs> <laughs> I just laid it all out there. So I hope oh you God, appreciate that. I, don't make me say it again. <laughs> okay, I guess I will. <laughs> I've been working up the courage to tell you this. But I... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just really glad I could get that off my chest. Yeah, it's like perfectly fine afterwards. <laughs> so it's like, it's it's like, like, uh, like I didn't catch that. Repeat, Can you repeat. <laughs> okay, well, what I said was <clears throat> so. I hope we can still be friends. <laughs> <laughs> so the opposite that the movie ends, I think, with the opposite street view. Mm-hmm. I could be, I could be remembering this totally wrong, but 
it's it's like the opposite street view and it, it, the cranes up where you see chino and valentina basically like i don't know if she's turning themselves in or just like leading him over but they but the the jets bring tony's body into the um you know they walk it into docks with maria just leading the procession and it's just like it's just a quiet yeah sad tragic ending and it's like it's you good. just kind of have to you're just left sitting with it yeah it's great i i think it's it's understated and that's kind of what makes it perfect in in my mind how how, how it ends like that okay so here's there's some philosophy in this movie the philosophical debate of tony when tony kills bernardo right. in response to bernardo killing riff right is that for is that okay and then second of all if you're in maria's position is that okay are you you're okay with that is the, is the for love at first sight is that strong it's yeah. like okay well, I it's mean, like you're you okay can't... with you are okay with him killing he your brother kill your brother right. and but then her thing is like well i can't you can't let them take you or when he's talking about going to the cops and she was like yeah and she's like you can't, you can't do that yeah you can't let them take you from me yeah so it was like instant and and they hooked up that night they did Isn't yeah a which little... I, a, a I mean, little extreme. I, I guess things move quickly in in it's, it's to set, time but it's it's to set up west side story 2 with uh <laughs> With a little the offspring, Mari- with Mario, Mario, <laughs> <laughs> um, Tony. It's just wild the fact that she, the the sister is coming back, Anita, right? Yeah, is coming back like morning, f- finding out that Bernardo is dead, and she meanwhile she's in bed with with the person who killed Bernardo. Yeah, oh, it's, it's brutal. So I mean, you you don't under, you completely understand where. Uh, where Anita's coming from there. You know, it's like, and then yeah, you, that's like is, is someone horrible. actually able to be a big enough person to be like, you know, I knew the power of love that much that will actually, I will help you to give my brother, my lover's but killer t- away. T- to me, there was even, to me, there was almost an understanding between them because like, because like Anita's like, Oh, well you, you love a, You love a killer. He's somebody who, who murdered somebody. And it was like, mm-hmm. Yes, but you also loved someone who was a violent man. Mm-hmm. Like he, he, you know, it, it, to me there was like there was almost like an understanding there. And he was a, he was a killer too, right? Yeah, so. yeah. So it's like, is it so different? Like, and I think that they them meeting on that level, it's despite like the fact that it's so raw. That's why she's willing to go out of her way for for Maria. Um, which then that ends in just a, just the worst possible way that you could think of. <laughs> the the jets are uh, not not kind. That scene, people. that scene is really really uncomfortable, huh? Yeah, yeah, was... and it, it was it was le- it was downplayed in the Hollywood the sixty one version, but that was a lot more blatant in the 57 and i think in modern revivals they make it a lot more um apparent that that yeah the jets basically try to gang rape her um it's very jarring because it's like okay these guys aren't good people yeah these are the people we're following yeah so they're not good people right and then like valentina lays into them about it yeah and then it's like they're like okay what next they didn't really. Well, it's, it's like, well, like well, they didn't really well, care they, that much. Like, well, like, okay, no, okay. I mean, they they leave in shame. Yeah, but right, they only come back to to because uh, they, Tony died. Like, okay, they're a little the embarrassed about it, but it's like, you did I that. don't think I, I I think it goes deeper than that. I mean, it's like it, you you can't you can't like. That's I like, mean, it they're matter though. They did it. It's not like two yeah, ten seconds they later they would be like they're gonna right. be change people. So, no, no, so, they're so. not. They're not. Like that's that's the tragedy of that. Like they they've they've gone they like they, that's like one of the ultimate forms of wrongdoing. You get killing someone else, but then you also have like rape is pretty much rate right at its equal. 
you know um it's uh-huh. that's i mean that's worse than freaking yeah killing under the that context in which they did kill I mean, yeah it's just yeah it's awful yeah. it's awful and like and that awful. that to me is the that's i think why why it the message still rings true even even today you know we have our polarized society where everyone is kind of people are now in their tribes you know you've got you know whatever whatever you want to call you can you can make this analogy about all kinds of different because of how polarized our society is Mm -hmm. we live in a society um but uh it's I think I think that's why this sort of cautionary tale is so like still rings true. Why why we want to see uh, that's sort of the tragedy of the of the love. It's people that are bridging this divide, people that are coming together in in mm-hmm. a in a way that's correct and pure and just and beautiful. And the tragedy of it when it all comes crumbling down due to factors outside of either of their control. Um, you did, re- I think you have an interesting point about your morale, like morality with what, with, with Tony, mm. because I think, I think there are la- there's layers there because I think in, in one sense he is justified because like in, if you, if you want to take it like a life for a life type of thing, if you think of it that way, but if you think of it the other way, he's trying to become a, a changed person. He's trying to break it up, trying to do it for nonviolence. But the violence on display, his best friend gets killed in front of him, causes him to lapse again. And, and that's, again, that, that's the tragedy of, of Tony, who doesn't want to be a killer, becomes a killer because of the violence that's that's stems from this conflict and yeah i mean there's just all things considered he did not really seem that overwhelmed with guilt or, uh, by, by any means he was like he it, it really quickly became all about love again you know that's all he really cared about he was back to like when he was talking to valentina and he's like oh love is everything now everything everything to me that's all there is and so, right well that's it that maria's acceptance of him like subsumes or over overwhelms that his his guilt is it's washed is, away pretty pretty much as soon as she does as she says that because he's like I'm gonna go tell the cops and she's like no okay I love you <laughs> yeah so it's, right well that's that's like so she's like right she's like kind of the the moral purity the compass of the of the story <laughs> um which is why it's then all the more heartbreaking at the end where it's like. He, the character who's probably the most pure sings a song after the rumble. This I, I love the juxtaposition of this, by the way, which is not in the '61 film. But the juxtaposition between um, the rumble happens, we like two major characters die, mm-hmm. and immediately after is her singing "I Feel Pretty." Yeah, yeah right. And it, I I I love it. I love that so much because it's like. It it gives the it gives the song which is which is a fun light number where she is to express just how happy she is in her current state. Like there's a there's a twinge of underlying darkness and sadness to it because we know that how she feels is not going to continue for the rest of the film. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, I thought that was great. Yeah. I, I like that a lot. Well, I mean, the rumble, the mess, the freaking gun. The it's gun, classic. Like as soon as I saw Riff hand him over that gun, I'm like, oh Jesus! <laughs> it's, well, you, can't, you can't transfer ownership do of that. a gun like that. No, no. Like I, I knew. Yeah, I knew immediately. I mean, I mean, I've seen it. Seen. Yeah, I didn't remember adaptations again, before, but so it was like okay. But yeah, it was go. like yeah. And then of course it ends up in Chino's hands in dramatic yeah. fashion. He's he sees the gun lying there on the ground. He's like, okay. And that is what kills them ultimately. Like, it's a mess. Everybody gets everybody, like everybody gets someone yeah. they love killed or messed up in some way. Yeah, you know, Riff in getting that gun gets <laughs> gets uh, Tony killed eventually. And yeah, it's you know, it's a whole sequence of events that that 
could have been prevented. Very Shakespearean. Really yeah. Is. Yeah. Re- oh, yeah. It for sure. Um, <clears throat> and then I. Uh, yeah. I mean, the whole rape scene is what really in that whole. The, the things that happened there is really what threw everything off because then that because Anita was there to. Uh, she just kind of came up with on the spot that she was going to say that uh, Maria is dead. And yeah, and as a as a as in spite, basically. Yeah. yeah. And so that threw everything off. I'm like, oh god, that's that's not a good good idea. Now he's gonna go out there trying to kill Chino, is what I would have thought. Like he's gonna go out for revenge for her. But yeah, he throw he goes out there. Yeah. But 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 remember, because his the the washing away of his guilt it, as in terms of Maria, that's gone. That's all he has left now is is yeah. the guilt of the fact that he killed somebody. And he's like, I deserve, I deserve this. This is what I deserve. Marie's gone. I, she can't fill any hole that I have. So Chino, kill me. I, I'd have got nothing left, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's it's like it's one of those things where there's like so many different stages along the way. If, so, if a character just thought about it a little bit more and handled things a little bit differently, you could save a, at least a life there. You know? It's yeah. Like, but it's yeah, it's Val- you... like Valentina. I don't know if there was another way she could have shared that information because she knew she knew who was gonna have the crazy reaction to yeah. it but i don't know how else you handle it from her perspective and obviously anita's handling of it was based on what she just went through and then like it's just you can pull it back each way and it's like she, she just did something a little differently and there's and there's a whole there's a whole aspect of her character too remember she has this positive she's the one singing america is so great Whereas all the rest of the Puerto Ricans are like, yeah, well, it's great. I, I think my, I think my favorite line is uh, like she's talking about like, oh yeah, it's great in America, and yeah, yeah, if you are white in America, <laughs> it's, it's like, oof, yeah. Um, the, uh, but yeah, so she's she's so she's like really on board for bettering herself, become you know the embodiment of the American dream, but at the end she she does they're like oh yeah you're some some american and then she's no she says no uh she's you know, puerto rican or however you say that in puerto rican puerto rican yeah and it's like yeah she's she doesn't she doesn't feel like this is this isn't her she doesn't she has no sound mind to be an american anymore like yeah. that's that's what that is and it's like oh it's it's awful it's it's really just awful and it's great (laughs) like this movie just does such a good job of of presenting all of this information in a way that's uh it's it's cautionary not cynical i think you know um i i actually read a review where someone was like this is a strangely regressive story it's telling people they should be in their tribes and they should be more stringently in their tribes. And I was like, no, <laughs> no, it's not. Did you watch the movie? Did you watch the story? Well, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's not what, at all what and, it's and about. That's what I do love about the story that it's like, you can easily gloss over it because it is such a, I mean, it's a Romeo and Juliet story, mm-hmm. but and it's just a known thing like this kind of story now because of that. Yeah. But yeah. I, I for love sure. that even in Romeo and Juliet, I love the, the idea of like a house divided like yeah like in that in that in romeo and juliet it was like warring families this one is more on actual like racial a racial divide and it's a racial divide it's a it's a turf divide too it's like these are this is our our area of the west side like this is our area and now with it's interesting with the with the state getting involved is driving the rift further because it's like oh they're they're crushing mm-hmm. our our areas. Where's the line anymore? We have to fight over. It. We have to figure out where our line is. Yeah, like, and it's just like. But then the beauty of this the story is that it's like both sides cannot see like that they're wrong or that this shouldn't be yeah. a thing. But then it takes the two the two people the little love story to bring it together. Just right. a couple a couple characters that are like willing to not to see things based on the divided lines you know yeah and that's the that's the beauty of it and it's i think that's a really it's a really compelling uh 
structure for a, a story in general. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's the, it's the reason it works so well. I think it's, yeah. it, it can, it's a, it's both a template that can work for a lot of different things, but I think it, it just, there's, there's something, there's truth there that resonates, I think to, yeah. to, to everyone, you know, I, I think even if you're not, so one of the, one of the things that I thought also is this is somewhat related, but um, there are no subtitles at all in this film. Mm-hmm. What, what did you think about that? I kind of loved it. I, I initially I was kind of thinking, oh, I don't know how I feel about this. Mm-hmm. I loved it. I ended up really loving it by the end. Yeah, this is uh, yeah. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. You you and left the little, language. My little bit of Spanish knowledge, I could tell some things. <laughs> but... You just you just let the you if you don't understand the language, that's that's fine because guess what? Uh, a lot of people that don't have uh, the English is their second language or don't speak a lot of English in this country. That's what they're feeling like all the time. <laughs> so um, this, this is good to me. The emotions are in the meaning through the acting is portrayed so well. I don't have to necessarily know exactly what they're saying. I get what they're saying from just how they're interacting with each other. And I think that's, I love that. I thought that was so great. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, uh, yeah, I, and I love some of the conversations in in it, like them them talking behind the bleachers at that uh, dance, mm-hmm. where he's like, I mean, that's like, they're those two just by themselves are able to see, basically break down the whole uh, conflict of this movie. Where he's like, yeah, where she's like, you're not you're not Puerto Rican, and he's like, is that a problem? Basically, yeah. and they're both like, no, it's, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, she says you're very tall. You're very tall, or something. He's like, yeah, well, you're, mm. you're kind of short. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. Like, well, I, I, yeah. If people just talked, how about how about we, if we just talked and then it's fine? Like, you yeah, it's okay. That's kind of stupid. Yeah, and he try. I mean, he tries to do that at the rumble. He tries to to, to talk to Tony. He's like, I don't have anything yeah. against you. But, and it almost it almost that's the worst part is that it, like it seems like it almost kind of was working to a degree. You know, it was almost kind of getting through to him, maybe, but it's just, it's not enough. Not when knives start getting break it, broken mm-hmm. out. That's, that was like, the, oof, oh no, that's rough now. And you got a knife fight. So, yeah. but um, cinematography in this movie was stupendous. Mm-hmm. The Speaking of Maria, which I mean, it's like, that's a, it's a beautiful, beautifully mm-hmm. written song anyway. That whole sequence, just like I was, just like, oh, it was so good, it was so good. Like when when the the like the puddle turned into like the whole the whole thing was a reflection. Mm-hmm. I was like, this is, oh, I was like, I was like, it was, uh, it was a whole nother level. It just like elevated everything mm-hmm. that you're watching because it's like it just perfectly depicts what it's like to be just like love struck yeah, right it's like it hits it, it it hits the tone perfectly say what you will about tony but a homeboy loves maria <laughs> yeah he, oh loves. My. he he says maria a lot in the song <laughs> he i think he's most beautiful sound is maria <laughs> yeah but i mean there's there's uh there's there's a lot of there's a lot of realism in that it's like it is sort of like dreamlike in in, in a way and, it, and of course the right because it's like, I, I felt that the 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 orc the um the writing of that song, funnily enough, is much like the love theme from the um I don't remember what composer did it. I think it was a Russian composer. I could be wrong. But there was a Romeo the symphonic there was a symphonic poem of Ro- Romeo and Juliet. And like the the love theme from that, maybe it was from an opera, I don't know. Maybe the opera Romeo and Juliet. I don't know. I don't remember. I know there's a love theme that's that's kind of like the classic, like it's the da 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 da, da which this is very clearly like it, it's it's sort of iterative on that in a way. Mm-hmm. Maria, where uh, mm-hmm. it, it, the the interval there is very similar to the da, da, da. so it's like it already is setting kind of a romantic mood um and bernstein clearly took inspiration i i feel anyway i don't know if i don't have proof of this but I just just based on kind of what i i'm i feel was feeling from the music from a little bit i know about 
music history, it, it seemed to me that he was very inspired by that, which makes sense because the story is basically Romeo and Juliet. So, mm -hmm. um, I mean, you're right. It is very relatable in a sense. It's like, because from the outside, everybody, like, if you're watching it, it's like, okay, calm down. Yeah, this guy's, this guy's crazy. Calm down, dude. Crazy boy. Like, Maria, you just <laughs> met Maria, by the way, Maria. Maria. But it's yeah. like, yeah, if you're if you're in that state of mind, it's just like, yeah, you could sing a song like that. You could sing yeah. It's just all about Maria. Oh, man. All in on Maria. I mean, uh, I don't know if it's exactly relatable the love at first sight. Like, yeah. Love at first sight, I don't think is that strong. But in the, in a in a fantastical movie, romanticized, you romanticize yeah. it a bit, but but the state the state of being love struck, yeah. I, I would say, is certainly. I mean, I to me the one of my favorite yeah, lines. This is all you care about. It's all you care about. For sure, like it, it, and it does to me. It's like everyone I've ever sort of been at least at the very least infatuated with, if not someone that I loved. Would I, I would. I, their name does take on a completely different meaning in your in your mind mm. I, I to me anyway um so that that to me was is always been relatable about the song i also really like the line when you say, say it softly it's almost like praying because it's like yeah maria is ave maria it's like that's like there's like a catholic thing there mm -hmm. so like there there's an element of that where it's like there are freaking sondheim this is a freaking wordsmith he's yeah. in his 20s it's like what a what a um he was great. I think yeah, he did that a, is beautiful. A, I also do really yeah. like Officer Krupke. This is, like that's. Fun. I like I liked the setting of it in this. Uh, I think it was just on the streets in the sixty one version, but yeah. actually having it in the precincts was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. And yeah. yeah, it's their it's their their. To me, the element of the Jets that's always kind of worked is that while we have, their they're all children of poor white workers. Um, but why are they poor white workers? And then you, you know, by a lot of their names, the, you understand that they're Italians and Poles and uh, basically people that historically in America, maybe not so much in the 50s, but historically in America, were never really uh, looked highly upon uh, in New York. So they're they're jaded mm -hmm. um they do have they do have the benefit of not being judged by the color of their skin but they are still judged by being neglected and uh seen as everything in off in the song they're like oh well they're just they're insane or they're just oh they're just they need to go to reform school or bring them in prison um yeah, it's a it's a great song of of describing their frustration with yeah. basically their reality and, and what they are told that they're no good. So I I have no more sympathy for them after the Anita scene. Oh there, no, so. oh there's absolutely there's Sorry, absolutely that. no sympathy for them. There's there's yeah, mm -hmm. I mean they're they are being um you could you could almost just say that at this this point they're using that as a crutch or an, as an excuse mm -hmm. to just be miserable and air do wells yeah and also uh, the balcony scene how about the balcony scene uh tonight that, is great that's uh romeo and juliet right there Bal yeah oh, the balcony. yeah the balcony scene. the fact yeah. that i thought it was so funny the fact that he right at the end of the song he, re he realized he could have just hopped over the thing the whole time it was pretty he just, great yeah. he learned that skill i was like oh i could just do this I, I did all this gymnastics like going all over the place just like, the, the i can't see you I the see. direction, the direction of the actors there, I just loved everything about that. It's, it's, yeah, Spielberg's got the magic; he's got the magic touch. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I just that whole scene was charming and fun and and sweet. But he was looking up to the grates, and he's like, "Oh, this thing's locked. Yeah. Oh, you should report that. That's illegal or something." Yeah, this. And then, yeah. And it was like I can't see you, so he goes all the way around to the other side. Yeah, just to see. Maybe. Her. And he's like, the "Wait a minute!" The, by the end of the song, he just hops over the thing. Oh, yeah, he's just like, "Wait a minute, I'm." Yeah. Wait a minute, I'm strong. I can do this. <laughs> yeah, playing games. Um, He's playing games out here, but it's okay. It's okay, I guess. Meet me. Meet, meet me at the corner. Think of no one else. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's like some of that <laughs> stuff where it's like, think of no one else. I, I will think yeah. of no one but Maria. Yeah. You think of no one but Tony. I, I, I also like the really sweet scene where he was with Valentina 
and and trying to learn how to say mm-hmm. uh, how to say important phrases that he wants to say to her in Spanish. And I was like, that yeah. was great. I liked that a lot. It's like I mean, yeah, it's love. Like, love knows no language divide. You know, it's exactly. like that's the, you're willing that's, to do anything. That's the beauty of love being interwoven with this kind of story. You know, it's like yeah. bridge the gap. The divide is stupid to begin with. You just just yeah. love just love each other. Just love each other. Yeah. You know. But you know, and then it's tragic. It's a tragic it's a tragic mess by the end of it. What I I also really liked uh the take on cool in this too. It was like the the number where they're all on that bridge. It's about the gun, you know, stay mm-hmm. cool. Mm-hmm. Um and uh yeah, I just I love the the blocking and the dance the dancing in that. All of that was great in this film, by the way. The the freaking dance choreography, mm-hmm. the abs- like America, like get out of here! Like what a it was a freaking showstopper right there. It was great. This film, I I, I loved it. I, it's to me, this is like I I think this this has the definite chance of winning Best Picture mm-hmm. again. You know, I I think it. The only thing is. No one's seeing it. No one's going to see this right. movie. It's tanking hard at the box office. And I think, I think we talked about tragedies. I think that's a tragedy right there. Like this isn't Dear Evan Hansen. You know, this isn't, this isn't, this is masterfully Maybe made. Through a window. A window. <laughs> this is masterfully made. This is not like we don't have a horrifying baby man who's, who looks like he's 45 screaming and singing gyratingly at a table of people who were just, who are just kind of sitting there and talking at him while he's the only one singing for right, 45 yeah, minutes yeah. Everybody in a movie. Gets into it in this movie. But no, everyone sings. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everybody it's sings. Weird everyone when dances. You sing at people. It's weird when you sing yeah. at people and they respond talking with talking. Yeah. <laughs> it's very off putting. Um, I hate when that happens in my life. So. The uh yeah, everyone sings, everyone dances. Um Rachel Zegler, I think she's uh she's wonderful and I think she deserves accolades and I think she's I think she has already got nailed a role as Snow White um in a new Disney adaptation. Whoa. Um Whoa. So good that's for big. her. That's big. That's big. That's big. That's huge. Princess vibes. She does give she gives princess vibes. Yeah, and I think isn't um, I'm pretty sure Gal Gadot is playing the queen, the evil queen, in that Gal Gadot. Yeah, I think so. Sure, which sure. I could see. I, Gal I Gadot get it. was in this movie too, and she was not. A lot of people um, forget. All right, what what score would you give this movie out of ten? It's like a nine point five for me. I lo- I loved this film. I, I it's beautiful, beautiful, stunning. Uh. I want to see it like as many times as I can while it's still in theaters around here. I don't know how much longer that's going to be, but with Spider-Man coming out and that's probably going to dominate the box office for probably two or three weeks. Mm -hmm. Um, So I don't think this stands a chance of breaking a hundred million dollars because it's at like 20 million now as we're speaking. Um, I don't think it's, I, I wanted to get, what was that? Sad. That's sad. It is sad. No, it is sad. I, I, much like in the Heights before, I think this, this, if you, if you did screw Dear Evan Hansen, if you take those two films alone, they're phenomenal. This, it's like to me, this year should have been the revival of the movie musical. Both of those films, both of these films are, are, I think, best picture contenders. I think they're both excellent. Mm-hmm. Well shot, well directed, uh, choreographed ex- excellently well. They, they don't feel like, it edited well the stories don't feel like too simplistic or pandering i i don't know i, I it's crazy crazy to me um mm-hmm. i think there's just a lot of factors that are just keeping people from wanting to go to the box office or wanting to go parts. to the movies a lot of there's a lot of moving involved. parts here i mean heck even ansel elgort's like that the allegations against him i think that could probably be keeping some people from going you know might have brought people, some people out no. <laughs> Yikes! Jets, some, some Jets fans, maybe. What do you go? What do you? Uh, what do you? What do you give this one? 
Some of the we Jets, the diehard Jets stands might might have the Jets might have come out. The New York, the New York Jets. Speaking of which, is that why they're called the Jets? No, wait, that can't be true. The Jets, they, that that team has existed well before the yeah. freaking West Side Story. No, I think they're airplanes or something. Eight point five out of ten for me. Okay, okay, it's All right. it's great. It's great. I don't have many complaints, but it's not quite that tier for me. Yeah. This is like this is this is like up there. This might be movie of the year for me. I mean, like it's up there with Dune. I, I liked it that much. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, I like No Time to Die a lot as well. But we'll see how Spider Man is. I thankfully by the time this comes out, I'll have seen it. So no, God, I'm, I've been I've been keeping keeping away from spoilers like the plague. So mm-hmm. that's the target round score nine out of ten. West Side yeah. Story 2021 Th- edition. Very deserving. Um, we should maybe go back and review the 61 one sometime. That might be kind of fun. We should um, make our own. We should just make our own West Side Story. Mm-hmm. I mean, Everybody's I can sing. It. I can sing. <laughs> Everyone's doing. Well, there was a uh, the Broadway revival, I think was 2019, 2020. Basically, everything I heard about it, it sounded really bad. But they say that the Tony in that was like the one of the best Tonys who's ever who's ever sang the role. Um, Did you want Tony? I don't think he did. I don't know. Um, Imagine. I will say the, uh, so they had like, it's set in like modern day New York. So all the characters have like cell phones. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. And it's about cyberbullying or something. That's awesome. I God, I hope not. It's about the divide. The Reddit divide. The Reddit Uh, divide. It, who are you gonna give your Reddit? Who are you gonna give Star-Cross your Reddit goal lover. to? <laughs> Starcross lovers, the Reddit thread. Yeah, it's beautiful. Aww. <laughs> it's Aww. beautiful. We don't need to be fighting on Reddit. You know, we all can just love each other. That's right. All right. Okay. That's it. Okay. Thank uh, you for watching. Yeah. What video would you recommend our viewers watch after this? Uh, go watch our Dear Evan Hansen review. Go, oh, go see him. Guy. Go see the other. Morally, who is? better evan hansen or tony tony because he actually realizes that he did something wrong tony did kill a guy evan hansen didn't kill anyone i still think tony is is in the moral superiority slept with her sister the next day actually like in fact the same night the same night yeah fuck He's cold, and I'm, st- <laughs> and, I'm st- and I'm still saying he's he's more morally upright than, than Evan guy. Hansen. Yeah, <laughs> I'm still saying in a fight between Evan Hansen and Anton from West Side Story, I I side with the I side with the. Uh... Is love is love strong enough for you to kill someone and then sleep with their sister, and, and that that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a discussion for another video, to be from perfectly the sisters, honest. From the sister's perspective, though. Well, I mean, you could you see that, like, Bernardo, rep- Bernardo represented everything that she didn't want from... Fair enough. That that he was uh, restrictive of her. He was, pro- like, maybe... He, from his point of view, he's being protective. But from her point of view, it's he's being too restrictive. He's, um, like, he's bringing her down. She, he's too into the... He's violent Fair and... Enough. Fair enough, I guess. Maybe yeah. sleep on it. <laughs> Maybe sleep, sleep on it. it. Maybe sleep on it with her. I don't know. You could. Okay. Yeah, sleep together. That's fine. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. Uh, beautiful girl. Right. She's beautiful. Anyone can see that. Yeah. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to our podcast feed. Comment. Hit the notification bell. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And like us on Facebook at Tarkaron T W O. I'm telling you, go yeah. see it in the theaters before it's gone. It's you won't, you won't, you won't disappoint. Once it's gone, you'll never get it back. Too well, just yeah, like Tony. Know. At the Aww. end of it. Aww.